What's going on guys, Gizmodict here and this is a tutorial for installing Android 5.1.1 Lollipop on your Samsung Galaxy S i9000. The ROM that we will be using today is called Code ROM and I will link the official thread in the description box for you guys to check it out. This method will work on the GT i9000 international variant of the Galaxy S1 and you need to have a rooted phone with a custom recovery such as TWRP. The things that you need to download are the ROM itself, Google Apps package and the Super SU zip file for root access. I will link all of these in the description box so that you can easily download them. Once you have these files downloaded, transfer them to your phone, back up your useful data and switch off the phone. Now hold the volume up button along with the home and power button to enter the recovery mode. Inside the recovery mode, first wipe the data, cache, system and Dalvik cache. Make sure that you don't wipe the internal storage or the SD card because the ROM files are in them. Once the wipe is done, click on install and install the code ROM file which you can see on the screen right now. The installation is going to take a bit of time so please be patient. Once the install is done, install the Google Apps package and the Super SU zip file to complete the installation process. Once it is done, wipe the Dalvik cache again and just reboot your phone. Since this is the first boot, it is going to take a while so I would suggest you to be patient. Once everything is done, you will be greeted with a welcome screen and you can proceed to set up your phone. One thing that you will instantly notice after setting up the phone is that the lock screen wallpaper is black and also the status bar is not transparent. To fix this, you need to download build.prop editor from the Google Play Store and open it. Search for RAM in the app and change the value of low.config.ram from true to false and reboot the phone. Once that is done, you will have your lock screen wallpaper and a transparent status bar. In terms of performance, this ROM is very stable on the phone. It is obviously not the fastest or the smoothest experience since this phone is almost 6 years old now but the fact that it can even run the latest version of Android is quite great. Wi-Fi reception is good without any issues and it can even multitask to some extent. In fact, I did play some low-end games on this phone and it handled them quite well. The camera works great too and you do get some customizable options with the ROM. You can use software buttons or assign shortcuts to the hardware buttons like Cyanogen Mod. There's also an option to tweak the colors of the display. The phone is very very usable and I did reduce the transition and animations in the developer options to make sure that the phone runs a little fast. Overall, the code ROM is a very good effort by the developer to bring the latest version of Android to the Galaxy S1. While it is not the smoothest or the fastest device anymore, it is good to see new versions of Android come to this device. In fact, we might even see an Android M ROM for this phone soon and I will make sure to cover it as and when it releases. I hope this video helped you out in installing Android Lollipop on your Galaxy S1. Do like and share the video with other Galaxy S1 users and make sure to comment your queries in the comment section. Please subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.